this is how I think about equilibrium. So let's say if we have equilibrium is the is a wall, right? And there's three people on one side and three people on the other. So right now it's an equilibrium. They're all pushing with the same force. So let's say you add, and let's say this side is reactants, and this side is products. So let's say you added a reactant, right? So you added a reactant right here. Now there's four reactants. So if there's four people, right, it's going to push this wall to the left, or I'm sorry, to the right, because these four people are going to be stronger than these three people. So it's going to push this equilibrium to the right. The equilibrium is going to shift to the right. Same thing here. If you if you um, if you added if you added, let's say, we get rid of this guy, and we add one guy here. Now there's now there's four people on the right side and three people on the left side. So now since the right side's stronger, they're gonna push the equilibrium to the left. And uh, you can do the same thing if you want to um, get rid get rid of uh, products or reactants. So if you let's say let's say we originally only have three, right? We only have the three people. If you get rid if you get rid of one of the products, right? One of the products people, what happens? Now suddenly you have three people, right? You have you have three people on the reactant side and two people on the products. So the reactant side is stronger, so they're going to push to the right, and the equilibrium is going to shift to the right. So yeah, this is just how I think about it, and um, this works for adding reactants or adding products or taking away reactants or products.